Hello, this is another episode of Barlow's TV, here to talk to you about maintenance on your summer planter or your hanging basket. So this could be a hanging basket or a planter you have in your patio, and what I'm gonna talk about today is what's going on with these petunias. So these petunias are, are beautiful now, but they're getting a little leggly and straggly, and they have a couple issues with them. I'm gonna talk about the issues first, and then I'm gonna talk about what I'm gonna do with them. So what I see on this petunia right here is something called a cabbage budworm. So in here, you will see what they do is they start to eat away at the buds and the buds don't flower. So I can see some feces in here. So you might want to look in your petunias to see if you see any of that, because that's a telltale sign of why the flowers aren't opening. Because those worms are getting in there, they're eating the buds and they're causing them not to open. So you might even see some holes on some flowers and that's another telltale sign. The other thing, an insect that I see on this, on this petunia is I see some aphids. So I'm going to show you where they are. There are some green peach aphids. There's one right there. You can zoom in and see that guy. They're all on here. There's another one right there. There's the aphid right there. So what the aphids do is they are piercing sucking insects and they will pierce the leaves and suck the juices out of them. And then your plant will grow naturally. So what you can do to control both of those is there's two different products. This is called BT. This is a, uh, an organic product that when you spray this, that will, um, that will uh, take care of the aphids and the, and the worms. Or you can use something more of a, a quick knockdown. This is a simple rose of flower killer. This will knock them down a little bit faster than the BT. What I recommend when you do spray these is to make sure you do it at night when the sun goes down and you can do it uh, 10 days apart. And that'll take care of it, two treatments. So we have our worms on there, and then we also have our aphids. So what else do I have going on here is this plant needs a little bit of haircut. So I always recommend, right after July 4th, we give our petunias and some of our honey baskets that are well overgrown a good haircut. Just like anything, a good trim will help to rejuvenate new growth, and it'll help to fill out a nice, beautiful planter again. So what I do is I take a really good pair of scissors, and I'm gonna actually cut this way back. Don't be afraid to cut it. It's not gonna hurt it, and it actually will benefit the plant. In our production greenhouses, when we're growing petunias and things like that, if they're too overgrown and we haven't sold them yet to the public, we actually go through and we give them a really good trim and then they'll be ready to be sold right again in two weeks. So I'm just going around the pot, cutting them back. Make sure you have a really good sharp pair of scissors because some of the older wood on these petunias or you know, your caliber coas get overgrown a little bit. Sometimes it doesn't hurt to give your lantana a good trim. So it's a simple trim, doesn't take that long. What I'm doing too is I'm actually removing some of those bugs and everything too. So what I would recommend with these clippings is I would not put them in my compost pile. I'd probably put them right in my garbage just to make sure I'm not introducing those bugs into my compost pile that will infect other plants. So this is trimmed back pretty good, you know? I might take a little bit off the top here. You can leave some of the flowers on, it's not gonna hurt. So it's trimmed back. So the most important thing after you trim your pot or your hanging basket and give it that summer haircut is to make sure you're fertilizing. I can't stress it enough. I don't think um, uh, we don't fertilize our plants enough. So annuals are rapidly growing plants. They do all their growing in four months from May until September. So if they don't have enough feed in their root system, they're not going to grow natural. They're not going to grow the way we want them to grow. So I always recommend you want to fertilize with an all purpose plant food once a week, especially annuals. Now, some of you might put osmocote in there. Osmocote is a slow release fertilizer that slowly releases fertilizer. You also want to supplement with a quick release. That's something called a liquid fertilizer. So you have this, we recommend, we recommend the Jack's Classic. It's what we grow all our plants with. So it comes in these small little containers here. They do a great job with a nice scoop right here. Basically, so you can open it up pour it right into the, back into this container. So, and with the scooper, so I have a, my watering can right here. It is a two gallon watering can. So, you know, a pot this size, I'm gonna give it a good soaking of probably a half a gallon of water. So you can estimate how many baskets or how many pots you have to water and then fill up your watering can accordingly. So here we have our scooper here. And if you look, it says one tablespoon all the way to the top. For your annuals, I recommend one tablespoon per gallon, per gallon of water when you're watering your plants. Now, if you have house plants, 
things like that, that's when you would go to more like a teaspoon, a little lesser rate because they don't require as much fertilizer. So I'm gonna just basically fill it up, pour it into my two gallons of water, two tablespoons for two gallons. You kind of give it a little shake in there. And now I'm gonna thoroughly water this. So this is not a quick little watering like that. This is a thorough watering of the root system because you want that fertilizer to get all around the root zone, a good half a gallon. Now, if I had a hanging basket here, I would be watering this until it came out the bottom. So I'm gonna water that then, and then I'm gonna fertilize again the following week and the following week. So we have X number of weeks left of summer. I'm fertilizing every single week. I guarantee if you fertilize this, if you give it a haircut, in two weeks it's gonna be beautiful and you're gonna come back and say, hey Steven, I can't believe how well that worked. So I hope I gave you some good tips here in this video. Look for those aphids, look for the cabbage budworms, give a good haircut and make sure you're fertilized. Enjoy this video, make sure you share it with your friends and like our pages. Thanks so much, have a great day.